Hello and welcome to Sunshine Haze. I am Aja A. And as you guys are looking at tarot cards on your screen, that means it is time for a new lunar forecast. We have a new moon in Aries coming up, which means we are coming into a new beginning, new astrological year, cardinal sign, a uh, lot to do with action. If you are interested in knowing more about what the new moon in Aries means, go on and check out my video. I have a link down in the description box below taking you to that. Uh, before I get started, y'all, this video is for Gemini. So if you feel like something I'm saying in here isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon or rising sign video. And uh, yeah, thank you to everybody that's been tuning in. I'm just going to go on and get started for you guys right away, okay? So as you guys know, um, I do the lunar spreads uh, at every new moon. As I said, we have the new moon coming up in Aries now fire energy so today's spread we're going to be looking at five different cards going to be taking a look at um what's in store as far as the energy goes for you guys gemini what um could be crossing you during this time possibly what could be coming in for you as far as new opportunities go and actions that you need to be taking and then because aries is also associated with uh the self we're going to be looking at a self card and whatever comes up in that position will be just something to keep in mind in regards to yourself and then as i do in all of my spreads, I will have a little soul message card for you. A higher self, something with your spirituality, however you want to interpret it, whatever we get from that, I will go on and put in the video for you guys, okay? I'm going to go on and finish shuffling, see what is in store in this new lunar cycle, this new moon in Aries. For a Gemini sun, Gemini moon, and Gemini rising. the deck for you guys all right cut the deck for you actually you know what no I don't know why I rushed that <laughs> sorry y'all I want to make sure that we get these cards shuffled up how they're supposed to be again calling on some Gemini energy positive Gemini energy for this new moon in Aries going to be going on mid-April to mid-May for you Gemini people. All right, guys. Now I will cut the deck. Sorry, I don't know why I put the deck down so quick. I don't know why I was so pressed to lay it down. Um, probably because I have somewhere to go and I, I want to get you guys a spread done before I leave. <laughs> but it's important to do these things correctly, so I had to keep shuffling for you. All right, what's popping for Gemini? Ooh, uh, this is good energy, good energy. Alrighty, guys, and I will definitely pull these cards up to the top for you when it's time to talk through them, but let's get you through this spread now. What kind of energy do we have coming in for this new moon in Aries for you? And this lunar cycle is going to carry the magician energy for you guys, which is a really dope card. Um, it's a really bomb card coming up in this position because Aries is a cardinal sign starts the season starts the spring season and it's also the first sign of the zodiac and it's also the beginning of the astrological year we're in the fourth month which has to do with building and creating and you know this magician energy just makes makes everything really really awesome this is the we talk a lot about manifestations and intentions during the lunar phases and the lunar cycles, but the magician card popping up uh, really just points to Gemini. You guys are really going to have this fire, this desire, this drive to do all of these things that your little air minds put into play. So definitely um, 
really tap into this energy during this new moon in Aries because although this isn't uh the magician is uh, I don't pull this card a lot so it's, it's rare for me to pull this this isn't like the most um common card to come out it is the first card in the major uh part of the tarot so really really tap into this energy because it, it is it's a very strong and intense energy and you definitely could be using it Gemini because you guys have so many ideas air sign people tend to have really good ideas and they have so many ideas and they tend to go all over with their ideas so this magician card coming up uh is really pointing to gemini all those ideas that you have now is the time to really put them into play because you have the energy to do so with this new moon being in the sign of aries um fire and air go really well together so this moon in a fire sign for you is probably going to be a uh, pretty beneficial um gemini Coming up in the position that is crossing you, we've got the moon, which is very interesting. So a couple things for that card. The first thing that pops up with the moon card is mystery, um, the unknown. So you've got this magician energy and what could be crossing you during this time is literally just not knowing what's going on or what's next or how to get to what's next or knowing what you want to do. That is very Gemini of you. You guys have one side of you where it's like, I have this. I have my plan and then the other side where it's just like okay oh let's just go with whatever happens okay and so this moon card coming up crossing your excuse me crossing your magician energy just points to a little bit of a little bit of a challenge when it comes to actually making those moves because it's uh, it seems as if you may not actually know what moves you need to be making with this moon card popping up on the other hand, another message coming through for this card is the moon has to do with uh, the psychic, the spiritual realm, and intuition. So what I'm thinking, um, Gemini, is the moon, if we're talking about it in this sense, crossing your magician energy is, Gemini, you may not be following your intuition. You may not be listening to your inner messages or to your guides or whatever it is that you have on your spiritual journey in this life. You may not actually be one, working with it in the way that you're supposed to be working with it, and two, not paying attention to what, you know, your heart and your mind and your spirit are telling you. And that coming up, crossing the magician position is actually just pointing to, you know, you may not be able to make these moves or actually harness that energy until you actually start listening to yourself and start paying attention to the messages that you're receiving. We've got Neptune and Pisces and Jupiter and Scorpio. So... There is a lot of, you know, otherworldly, mysterious, mystic things going on. And if you are being given these messages or given these little insights and you're just kind of disregarding them, it's very, very, it's almost certain that these things are being shown to you or given to you because they're important for you along your, your journey, along your path. And if you're disregarding them, you know, uh, one of the consequences is you're not going to be able to tap into the energy that you need to tap into to make moves in this life, right? Um, okay, what's next, Gemini? Coming up for you guys in the position of new opportunities. Really, really good card. You've got the Six of Pentacles. This is the growth card. So popping up in the position of action to take or new opportunities coming in for you. One, you've got a Pentacles card, which is really bomb. The Pentacles suit has to do with uh, foundations, has to do with finances, has to do with a uh, career, a lot of good stuff in the Pentacles suit. And it coming up in the actions to take means, I'm sorry, this Pentacles coming up in actions to take means you need to start making some moves on your foundations, your career, your finances, or your relationships, your um, whatever, um, structures you have in place in your life it, this card coming up is saying that it's time to start making moves on those so the six of pentacles popping up in that position is really 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 nice you guys have a lot of cards coming up in really good positions in this spread um, the six of pentacles as I said is the growth card it points to prosperity it points to um, you know abundance so whatever you've been working on Gemini especially if you feel like it's been a tumultuous road coming in in this new moon and airy season, you're going to start seeing some of the, the fruits of your labor come into existence. So, you know, everything was not done in vain. Everything that you've been working on was actually being worked on, even if it may have seemed stagnant or may seem like it wasn't really moving. 
things we're working under the surface for you, this new moon in Aries at the start of this new year is actually when you're going to start to see the beginning of your fruits of labor coming into existence or you're going to you're actually at the end of that cultivation process to where throughout the year you're going to start to see it now, okay? Um this card popping up sometimes could point to a gift. So very possible uh just ran just a random message you might have um an opportunity coming into you that as I said, gift, not necessarily like, oh, wrapped in a bow, here you go. But this card coming up in this action position could point to you being presented with some sort of opportunity or some sort of job or some sort of situation or physical or, or monetary thing that can really put you on the up and up. So just pay very close attention to the things that are being presented to you during this time, especially because you got this moon card coming out. This is just pointing to, you you know, you need to pay a little bit more to your intuition and, um, your surroundings because everything happens for a reason nothing is coincidental okay coming up in the position of uh where we need to well not we i don't have any gemini in my chart <laughs> coming up in the position of um the self you've got the son of swords now gemini this could just be you and this card popping up could really just point to you know gemini you really need to focus on yourself you need to give a little bit more time a little bit more attention to you in general um, because you guys tend to go so much and tend to do so many things and get your hands into a whole bunch of different little pots that sometimes you spend your energy. The Sun of Swords coming up is really just pointing to, you know, Gemini, it's time to bring it back, center yourself, um, find some solace so that you can continue moving forward. You just need maybe need a little bit of a break. This also coming in in the position of the self is the son of <clears throat> excuse me is the son of swords which is the knight of swords I have the the wild unknown tarot decks I have family cards but very possible somebody of the air suit either a little bit younger or with a more vibrant energy could be coming in or you could form a relationship with this person who could really um really show you some things that you need to learn about yourself or really help you along your own life's journey. So just pay very close attention to those uh, Geminis, Libras, and Aquarians in your life because there may be a special one coming up for you in this new moon in Aries. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a male, just somebody who's a little bit younger or somebody who carries a more lively energy, um, who has a pretty strong perception, who can also probably bring you some clarity in whatever situations you've got going on during this time. All right, Gemini. The last card that I have coming up for you in this spread is the Father of Wands, which is the King of Wands. And that's coming up in your soul position. It's in your, I'm sorry, your soul message card. Um, geez, your soul message position. How hard was that to say? Good Lord. Um, Two things for this card, because it is a court card, very possible that there could be a very prominent fire sign, older or more mature um, person coming into your life, typically probably a male, but it doesn't have to be a male. Um, we could be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, or a Sag, or somebody with a lot of that energy in their chart, okay? And now this is somebody who's very charismatic, very passionate, and a very creative individual. Um, it could be that you need to meet somebody or you're going to meet somebody like that who is going to again help you along you know your path um, along your journey um also very possible that you just need to harbor this energy right now this fire energy um this make things happen it's coming up under the magician which uh, i associate the magician with the wand suit even though it is a major card i always associate it with fire with action so um, what I'm getting from this card for you guys is that it may not actually be a person could be but I, I'm not really getting a person I think you just need to tap into this this uh, father of wands and this magician energy um, turn on your charm Gemini you guys have the ability to charm people you've got the dual personality so you know you can tap into different different type different settings different types of you know personalities or whatever it may have you um, to really appease the people, really appeal to people, um, to get whatever it is that you need out of life. And because you have this growth coming in this new moon in Aries, um, you really have to get shit popping. Like it's really time to get things working. So whatever clarity is coming in for you, 
or whatever it is that you need to work on here. Um, center yourself, get those things going. And this is the sword suit. And I think th this card is just really funny because it's this little owl carrying a sword. I think this also is a message when I say to come into to some clarity that you may have some things going on, Gem Gemini, that you just need to cut off and you need to cut them off with the quickness and with due diligence. And that's kind of what this card says. And as soon as you do that and gain your own clarity within yourself, you'll be able to tap into this magician energy, this father of wands, king of wands energy, this action, this making moves on the manifestations, okay? So, you know, I hope this spread can help you guys kind of move throughout this new moon in Aries, uh, this lunar cycle. If you feel like you want a little bit more insight and want your own personal reading, go on and uh, book me. <laughs> you can uh, book me through Etsy or you can send an email to me, sunshinehaze1129 at gmail. If you're going to email me, I do only accept payments through Cash App. And then I also have an account on Instant Go. So if you're familiar with that, you guys can also check me out. Check me out. You can also hit me up on there, okay? Um, yeah, guys, this wasn't a crazy spread. This is actually a good spread. The new moon in Aries, you guys are really going to embody that fire energy. So when I just saw the star and the ten of cups, yeah, Gemini would and the death. Uh, whatever changes need to be made in your life right now, Gemini, go on and make those because it's actually what's holding you back from tapping. And then I just saw the five of swords. Cut off whatever needs to be cut off because that is actually what's holding you back from um, tapping into that magician energy. So, you know, I hope this resonated with you guys. If it didn't, go on and check your moon or rising sign. Thank you for watching. If you feel moved to share this video with any of your fellow Gemini friends, please do so. I really appreciate it. I'm still kind of shocked at how much y'all share my videos. It's very shocking, but that's that's how we do it. Spread love. Um, go on and like the video. If you liked it, hit that little thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Um, I do get on here every few days, so I will respond to you unless you post some negative shit on my page. If that's the case, it gets deleted or I come at you with my Mercury and Leo. Um, and you can Y'all can look that up and and, <laughs> and just go on and decide not to cross me with wild comments. <laughs> but I try to stray from the latter. I try to keep it peaceful. You know, positive energy all around. Um, and I think that's it, guys. Go on and check out that new moon in Aries video so you kind of have an idea of what's really going on here. And then try and pair it, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, with this uh, tarot forecast. Help you move through this time. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Thanks for watching.